Good day. We're back on the Board of Education and today I'm going to show you the proper way to wire a switch leg. So pretend this isn't here, this is from another one, but we're going to have a constant hot right here. So we have constant power and we're going to go through together and uh, wire this bad boy up. So I'll uh, zoom in a little bit more so you can see it better and then uh, We'll go from there. Okay, in a little closer now so you can see a little better. Hopefully, if I get in the way a little bit, I apologize, but uh, tight quarters here. So what we're doing is we're putting a switch leg. We have a light here then that uh, just has power to it. So we run it, want to run a switch leg to it. So we're going to run a three wire switch leg. If you want to know why, and we run this extra wire and not a two wire, I did a quick video on it to uh, explain that, so I'm not going to go through it here. Today we'll just go through the wiring of it. Um, so here we go, let's go through it. So here's our power coming in, here's our three wires, and here's our three wires at the switch. So we got, and I got our colors up here for those in other countries because I had questions about that, so now you can reference it and make it for yours. So with power coming in, we want to switch it, so we got to get it down to our switch. So now, what we want to do is always come back on black. Always think uh, back in black, back on black. So therefore, we want to take our hot, which is a constant hot, and do it to our red. So we're going to bring it down on our red. So let's twist that bad boy up real quick. Okay. So we're coming in on black. We're going down on red. So now this is our constant hot. Our constant hot is going to go to a switch. Doesn't matter top or bottom which way you do it. Most of them orientated so that if you keep this on when you're looking at it on the right side, that'll make it so that up is on. If you get it wrong, all you got to do is switch it. Not a big deal. So now we have power coming in, it's coming down our hot, our red, it comes down to our red, and now we're going to come back on our black. So now black coming up, this is now our switch leg. So this with the original white, if you had a two wire coming down, that's all you would do and that goes to your light. But we have this extra wire now. So why we have that? We gotta have a neutral down here. So how do we get a neutral down to here? This has to be hooked up to our neutral coming up from our, our original pair. But we also have to get it, so there's our hot for the light, our switch leg. So now we also have to get a neutral out to our light. So what we have to do is make a little pigtail here. So we're going to twist these together. And we're going to throw in a pigtail. Okay. So that will I was trying to do it without uh, having a moret on it to show you. Let's put a moret on it and tighten it right up. Twist it on there really good. There we go. Get those suckers together. <laughs> a couple little twists of the, of the clines to make sure it's on. So, to go through it again real quick, so now our, oops, give it a good tug pull, tug test, it's in there good. Might as well throw one on here too, since they're just sitting there ready to go. And then of course, this neutral we have down here, we got to cap it properly too. We don't want it messing anything up on us. So, as always, we'll start from the beginning. First thing you do is you take all your grounds, 
If you have a metal enclosure, make sure you bond it to the back. You hit that back screw, pound them all together, push them back out of the way. Done. That's the first step. Second step, go through the system like I showed, follow it through. Put them together, know where they're going. Once you're happy with that, then strip, twist, make the connection. So now we got power coming in, down, so constant power. It goes down on our red, gets switched back on our black, which is now our switch leg, which comes up here. So this is going to power the light off of our switch. Our neutral is going to come up tag on to the neutral that comes down here and run a pigtail so that way you can attach it to your light. So now we'll hook this up to our light and then uh, I'll do that here real quick and then uh, I'll bring you back just to show it all working. There you go. Okay, I got it all buttoned up. I got the light fixture, the keyless on, and a bulb in. Pushed in the switch. So now, from the other video, and to show just a regular switch in line, that's our master for this wire. So let's leave it as a constant hot, like we wired it up. And this is our switch leg. So now that switch leg operates the switch, operates the light. So there we go. For this, we used uh, three conductor 14 to get, make sure we got that neutral in there. Standard switch. If you wanted, you could actually, there is the rare scenario where you might want this actual scenario to combine the two where you have a master switch and a slave switch. Meaning that if this one's off, it doesn't matter. This one will never turn it on. This one has to be on in order for this one to operate. But 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to be where this is just a steady hot. And you're wiring that. You're not, we're, it's like that's not even there. But if you did want that stereo, there you go. Hope that helps someone. Uh, we're going to slowly build out this board with, you can see I'm prepping the next one. With different ideas. Uh, so any ideas you have or questions you have with uh, some of the wiring in your home. Or, or if there's a, you'd like to see a video on how to do something. I'm going to touch a bunch of points. We're going to hit some three ways and I'm going to throw a four way in here and explain it all. But uh, if you have anything, throw it in the comments. Let me know and uh, I'll add it to the Electrical Board of Education. So uh, there you go. Hope that helped. 